Medicine.com, a 21-year-old woman was admitted to an Italian hospital due to sweating blood from her face and the palms of her hands for three years. She had no signs of scratches or wounds, and there did not appear to be any obvious triggers for the bleeding. The bleeding lasted from one to five minutes and then ended on its own. The blood occurred while she was sleeping or physically active. Embarrassed by her symptoms, the young woman had socially isolated herself and experienced symptoms of major depression as well as panic disorders. That's sad. An analysis of her skin showed nothing unusual and the test of her blood revealed no coagulation issues or other problems. Doctors diagnosed her with, and I can't pronounce that word, but it's on the screen, which is a rare disease marked by spontaneous discharge of blood sweat through intact skin. She was prescribed, I can't pronounce it, propranol, it's on the screen, a beta blocker prescribed to patients with heart conditions and a drug that has been used in similar cases in the past. This treatment reduced her bleeding, but did not end it. The earliest mention of sweating blood can be found in Aristotle's writing. In two instances, the Greek scientist and philosopher described sweat that either looked like or really was blood. Another case, according to Yahoo News, Gita, 21, lives in India and also suffers from, it's on the screen. Her husband left her because he thought that she was a witch when she suddenly started bleeding from her eyes. Oh, that's scary and sad. According to the Indian Journal of Dermatology, this is another account. There is a 12 year old with a history of bleeding from the intact skin over her forehead, scalp, cheek, nose and trunk for the last two years. The bleeding occurred in episodes once or twice a day, sometimes more frequently, especially on waking up in the morning. Each episode started with a mild watery secretion over the forehead or other body parts. That's just the scrap so weird. <laughs> Followed immediately with bright red colored secretion. Each episode lasted for about 10 to 15 minutes and the patient remained perfectly all right during the post episode period until the next episode. The patient was given atropine transdermal patch over the involved sites and she noticed gradual improvements in both the severity and frequency of the episodes. Gradually, after one month, the patient stopped getting similar episodes. The patient was followed for two months after stopping the atropine treatment. During this period, she did not have any more episodes. Okay, now let's talk about what the hell is this hermatidrosis? <laughs> okay, according to WebMD, Jesus was said to have been sweating blood before his crucifixion. The artist Leonardo da Vinci wrote about a soldier who had bloody sweat after battle. Hematidrosis is a very rare medical condition that causes you to ooze or sweat blood from your skin when you're not cut or injured. Ugh. Only a few handful of hematidrosis cases were confirmed in medical studies in the 20th century. Symptoms. People who have hematidrosis may sweat blood from their skin. It usually happens on or around the face, but the skin might be lining the inside of your body too, like in your nose, mouth, or stomach. The skin around the bloody area may swell temporarily. Crying tears of blood is related. It's called I can't pronounce it, hemolacria is on the screen. Bleeding from the ears is called, it, that's on the screen as well. Hematidrosis can look like blood, bloody sweat, or sweat with droplets of blood in it. That just makes me, <laughs> Okay, the bleeding usually stops on its own and is not serious, although it can make you dehydrated. And of course, it can be disturbing. Okay, what happens? Doctors don't know exactly what triggers hematidrosis, in part because it's so rare. They think it could be related to your body's 
fight or flight response. Tiny blood vessels in the skin break open. The blood inside them may get squeezed out through sweat glands. Or there might be unusual little pockets within the structure of your skin. These could collect the blood and let it leak into the follicles where the hair grows or into the skin surface. That's a lie. I'm sorry. It just makes me... I don't even know what you think. But anyways, who gets it? Hematidrosis can be a symptom of other diseases, such as high blood pressure or bleeding disorders. It also happens to women while they've had their periods. Sometimes it seems to be caused by extreme distress or fear, such as facing death, torture, or severe ongoing abuse. It's probably where the term sweating blood, meaning a great effort, comes from. Diagnosis. The doctor will ask you about the bleeding, including how long it lasts and when and how often it happens. They'll talk to you about your health in general, your medical problems, and the health history of close family members. They'll also want to know what's going on in your life. To try to figure out what led to the hematidrosis, they may do blood and imaging tests to look for clues and rule out other problems. You'll probably get tests to check how well your liver and kidneys are working. You may have tests like a CT scan or ultrasound depending where the blood is. Doctors who specialize in blood, skin, or other areas might get involved too. Treatment. If the doctor finds or suspects that something is setting off the hematidrosis, they'll try to treat the underlying issue to, to prevent it from happening again. You may get beta blockers or vitamin C to lower your blood pressure, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications, or therapy to curb episodes related to high emotional stress, just to help blood clots or stop bleeding. Very, very interesting. So hematidrosis, I think that's how you pronounce that. That is very interesting. Very odd. I would say if I seen someone bleeding spontaneously from various parts of their bodies, I think that I would be afraid to not think it was some type of spiritual warfare. I think so. I think that I would want to go get a Bible or some type of spiritual element or some type of object and start praying or something like that is scary. Like, I don't even know what you think about this. I think, I'll, I think I'm going to watch some YouTube videos to, that has some stuff about this because this is truly interesting. L let me know, y'all. Have y'all heard of hematidrosis? Or if not that actual term, have you ever heard of people sweating blood? Or blood just coming out of people's skin on areas that it shouldn't and for no reason? Have you heard of that? Uh, I'm going to ask this question, but I'm sure you have not seen anyone doing that. But hey, have you? You may have. If so, comment below. Let me know what you think about this diagnosis. I mean, just let me let me know what you think in general about this. This is very, I don't know. It's very disturbing, I would say. <laughs> anyway, see y'all later. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and hit that bell to receive notifications of when we upload a new video. Also, check out our merch at ezinwanyi.com.